Hello friends, welcome to next video on Microsoft Fabric. In first video we looked into lake house, data warehouse and other stuff. In part 2 video we looked into how to simply load data into lake house using Dataflow Gen 2. In this video we will look into how we can load data into warehouse. Let's get to Power BI service and take a look. So we have all these artifacts which we uh, saw already. Um, so in this video, as we said, we're going to load data into warehouse. So we already have a warehouse called Fab Test Data Warehouse. And if you remember in the first video, we loaded the data into the warehouse from the sample data, which has all these table. But what I want to do here is I want to bring my own data in this how we can uh, do that. To load the data in warehouse, we have two options here, new data flow gen two and new data pipeline. In previous video, we looked into data flow gen two and output as in a lake house. In this one, we will use the data flow. Uh, in this one, we will use data pipeline. So let's do that. Let's call it uh, DP warehouse. Great. And by default, it came up with this uh, window, which is like copy data into data warehouse. That's perfectly fine. We can use it. And what we need to do is use the data from our, uh, the same file from uh, our um, OneDrive. So, so I don't see a option here to connect to um, to connect to OneDrive for business or SharePoint. It's only SharePoint online list, but not the file system there. And uh, we can use the blob storage or uh, is a data lake storage and two. I already have a connection for my blob storage. So I'm going to use that. And so I browsed to my blob storage and went to my fab test folder or container and I'm going to pick the same file what we used previously and press OK. So it automatically filled up like a file path that's a container, the directory and all that stuff. Again, I'm not going into too deep into pipelines here. I'm just looking into the basic stuff, how we can load the data. So file format is uh, is an Excel which we can pick and then we can preview the data here. I think we have to take the sheet as well. So I'm going to pick the sheet one and preview data. Um, sorry. So here you go. So that is a preview of the data. Our first row contains the columns. So what we're going to do is, uh, is there an advanced option here? Settings. So in the settings, compression type none, range, first row as an error, perfect. Okay. Preview data, perfect. So these are the column names here. And our destination would be not the lake house, but in this case, data warehouse. And uh, we're gonna use fab test data warehouse. And the table name would be its new table. So we're gonna call it under the DBO schema and my stock again, the same thing in advance. Gonna go many options here. I'm gonna say auto create table because this table does not exist. So I'm going auto create table and other fun stuff we can do here but this is the basic stuff so then mapping uh, let's see what it does for us uh, import schema okay so I did the import schema and change the type of uh, each column based on what I know and uh, Okay, so I change the type of each column based on what is the right data type because by default it was all string. And then we go save and, uh, 
and run so it's changing and then save and now run so what it will do it will run this particular copy data activity in the data pipeline and uh, based on this it will read data from the excel sheet on the blob storage and the destination will be a table in my data warehouse the name my um, stock let's see uh, once this finish in progress let's wait for it to finish and then we will check that table in the data warehouse all right it finished it succeeded and uh, the pipeline executed correctly so let's go to the our uh, workspace we have a data pipeline warehouse and let's go to our warehouse which is this one let's see if that table my stock exists here we don't see it here okay no it is here my stock perfect i guess we should be able to see this in here this is great the data is already here and of course i can write a sql query against this but one more thing um does this table already exist in the default data set let's take a look at that and the default data set is fab test data warehouse which is data set default let's click on that okay so the default data set automatically get updated as soon as the table get landed into the data warehouse similar to what happened in uh, lake house so if i click on my stock here i should be able to see that data in here here you go perfect so in this video we saw how to use data pipeline to copy data from an excel sheet into our data warehouse one thing which to notice here that we could not connect our data pipeline to our OneDrive for business or the files on the SharePoint. I have to have in a blob storage or other areas where I have the files and then use that to load as a destination uh, to the data warehouse table. Um, there is also an option in data warehouse to load data using uh, data flow gen 2 we will explore that as well in the upcoming videos stay tuned we will keep on working on these small videos and looking into the different components of a microsoft fabric and how those will work for us let me know what you guys think about these videos and do share your feedback and make sure to subscribe my channel i will be continuing i will be making load more videos on Microsoft Fabric and other areas of Power BI. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye for now. Thank you.